Hello guys and very welcome to this video. Here I have nine battery module connectors and here is my balance harness that I need to solder together to those battery module connectors. And there is 108 cells in my battery, so there will be a lot of soldering here. So I will do a time lapse for you guys so you don't have to stay around for a couple of hours before I am ready with this stuff here. So here we go guys and as always very welcome. And as you can see here I have speed it up pretty much actually. <laughs> so I just slow it down here a little bit so you can see when I am preparing one of those connectors. I just remove the tags and uh, then I open up the connector housing here and then I will remove the insulation around the wires and after that I will of course also remove those cables that we don't need anymore so that's what I am doing right here So this is one of those connectors and then now it's just four more to go. So let's speed it up again. And here you can see that I am preparing the wires for soldering. So I am stripping those wires and I am trying to take as many as possible at the same time here. Uh, it will save me a lot of time. There we have it. Let's take a few more here. That's a good one. So now it's just a few wires left on this connector. And then we are ready to go again. All right. Let's speed it up. So we have uh, one, two, three, thirteen, and fourteen cables here that will go into every single module there. So uh, there is two cables in one connector that I will skip and uh, that is the temp sensor cables because I only have eight temp sensors but I have spared all the temp sensor cables to those connectors here because I don't know yet which one I have to left out there so a lot of cables anyway Here you can see me preparing the first balance harness. So here I am stripping those wires so I can solder them together with the module connectors. And I have also uh, installed a hook there on the wall so I can hang this harness when I try to sort those wires out because they are pretty much tangled together there. Now I start to have those wires in the right order. Here I have the soldering tubes that I bought from Virt, and those are working really well. I also bought those from AliExpress and here you can see that you have more whitish glue there and those are not working so well. 
I have tried that for a number of times now and um, the solder doesn't seem to stick very well to the copper. So probably no flux inside of those uh, soldering tubes. So uh, I am going to go for those from Wirt and um, well, they cost me almost seven crowns each and I need a lot of them. So, but anyway, I hopefully just do this once in my life. So that will be worth it. It will be a lot quicker than soldering it, uh, soldering it together and use uh, shrink tubes there. So I will now start with the first module here and as you can see I have already stripped them so I will just set it here so it's pretty tight not too tight of course and I will wait with the temp sensor cables so I lay them on the side here so here is the most negative and here is cell number one. So here we go guys. So here we have most negative and cell number one. So I will try to take this at the same time it will save me some time if so now I just will hold it steady and take my heat gun This will not be good. I have to redo the brown one. But the cell number one seems to be right. to take a look at this because you see that the brown cable is too long in there let's see if I can well, let's try it if the solder will travel through there yeah it looks good enough And then I will do a pull test on everyone. And they are okay. So that was cell number one and the most negative. Then we take cell number two and three. Also make sure that I don't have any twists in the cables for so the cables not untwisted. So here we have cell number two and three. Take the heat gun.
and I will do another pull test. Inspect every soldering point or soldering very well before I leave it and make sure that I have the right cell connected to the right cables here in the balance connector. So cell number two will go into yellow and blue and I have my paper here. Cell number two position for pin 11 yellow and blue and cell number three position 12, 12. <laughs> Uh, and that should be white and green or gray. So let's check that. Yes, white and gray on pin number 12. And that should be number three here. So now we know that we have those cell correctly hooked up to those wires. And let's take the next one. Cell number four and and cell number four and five, no twisted cables, then we are ready to go. Double check the cell tabs here, number 4 and number 5, and number 4 should be yellow and 5 should be black, that's correct, and pin 14 and 13, 13 and 14, and that's also correct. And the pull test, perfect. Then we can take the next one. So now I just will speed this up a little bit. Try to at least. So number six and number seven. Number six and number seven. Six should be yellow red, pin 15, and uh, number seven should be green. That's correct, and that's the pin uh, 16, so the green one there. Do the pull test. Yeah, seems right to me. Let's take the next one. Number eight and number nine. Let them cool down, do the pull test, and check the cell position. So number eight should be yellow blue, or yellow gray, it's hard to see. Yes, that's correct, yellow gray, number eight, and number nine should be white and brown. Yep. That's correct. Let's move on to the next one. Number 10 and 11. So, uh, yellow pink, number 10, pin 20. That's correct. And uh, cell number 11, green and red, pin number. Okay, that was uh, wrong. Let's see again. Cell number 10 should be yellow and pink, and that's correct. And pin number 19. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, cell number 11. Pin number 20 and that should be green and red so that's correct and that let's do the pull test here 
Okay, this doesn't look good at all. I have to redo this. This one looks okay. Oh, it's much better or it's perfect. Let's do the pull test and we are good to go. Great. Then we take cell number 12, the last one for this connector. Pull test, cell number 12, and this is green and gray. Green and gray, cell number 12, position or pin 21. Great. Let's move on with the next connector. Before I do that, I will just put on this cap here. And when doing so, I also lock the connector pins here one extra time. So that's good. So let's speed up this a little bit more. Finally! So, here they are, all my balance leads. That was just great to have this done. It took some hours, but it was not so many hours as I had expected. So, I will just go in and, and eat something because uh, now I am a little hungry. So, see you later. All right, so now I just have to go out to the battery and make this harness to look good also, because I don't want to have uh, wires all over the place there. So in the next video, I will install my harness into this battery and hopefully it will look good, almost like some kind of original system inside of this battery. We have to see about that later. Sorry if the sound here sometimes was very bad. I have a new mic and probably the sound will be better from here on. Have a great day guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye!